Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Black Box Tech and in today's episode, I'll be discussing about proper way to unsubscribe from your subscription. So in every project, you always use subscription to subscribe to your service, right? So the problem is there are different approach and some of them are very popular. So we just trying to find out what is the best approach here. So in this application, I have a single service and I am subscribing this here and in this variable I am storing that and in ng on destroy lifecycle hook, I am just using this dot weather subscription dot unsubscribe. So what is the problem here? Because as you know, like if I have multiple service here and I am subscribing here multiple places like this render weather I can have another method to inside that I can uh, call that service and subscribe that again with a different name so I need to add that again in the on destroy lifecycle hook so every time I create a new subscription I need to unsubscribe that again and again and we can sometime forget to do that and and that will cause a memory leak in your application so the next popular approach to do that using take until operator we'll shortly see that so take until operator uh, we will try to implement here so uh, to do that let's import that first I will do a public unsubscribe equal to a new subject so it will imp import the subject here from rxjs and then what I'll do, I will just put a pipe here and inside that I'll use take until operator and inside take until operator I will just pass this dot and subscribe. So proper identification let's put a variable here, a dollar sign. It's not required, but just to identify that. And then what we'll do, uh, we uh, no longer this, this dot unsubscription thing, we can directly call this service. So here, what I'll do, I will just go down here and then we'll use this dot unsubscribe dot next and in the next line i will do this dot unsubscribe dot complete so this is pretty much will work here but here is the problem so this two line is very important otherwise you will still uh, have your subscription in place and there will be possible memory leak so every time every component should have these two lines and there are also possible problem like in few of the blog posts you can uh, read that like this take until operator if you have something uh, after that it's always the say, last line it should be and in, unfortunately if you add something here then there is also possibility of uh, not unsubscribing properly there is another plugin or you can say a class uh, module available and uh, in the ng conference our john papa actually recommended that approach we'll uh, see that what is the approach so there is a module available called subsync so what is that so this subsync uh, uh, actually uh, this has been uh, created by wordbill it's a known angular uh, angular uh, uh, developers so he created this plugin and this plugin um, unsubscribing gracefully in a component so that is a another approach you can use and i think it's a better approach very easy to do that so
So to do that, what I need to do, I just need to install this subsync first. Let's do that. I'll just close my console and then I will install subsync in my project. Once it's complete, then I just need to do, previously I've done this public unsubscribe equal to new subject. So other than that, what I'll do, I'll just use that same thing. But in this time, I will use new subsync. So if I type that, probably it will import. So it is not importing, let's import that. I'm removing my um, import subsync from subsync. So now inside this pipe we don't need any more so let's remove that and then in the end of this subscribe we also don't need this two part we just need to use this dot unsubscribe dot sync problem unsubscribe that's it This is not subsync, so it will be this dot unsubscribe dollar dot unsubscribe. So now you can actually subscribe to multiple services, and I don't think multiple observers, so I don't think there will be any issue. And that's one liner will be enough to unsubscribe from your subscription, and I think it's very uh, easy approach. But there are other approach uh, available as well like uh, this is generally do create a array and inside that array actually it's all the subscription it's stored inside that array and then it's on in, in, uh, in ng on destroy it's uh, rem uh, actually unsubscribe from all of the subscription inside that array and uh, you can also manually do that by uh, store creating an array and you subscription subscribe dot add inside that and you can also do the same thing is manually but i think um, this approach is uh, like uh, a good one and a recommended one so i will just uh, hear from you guys like what do you think the perfect approach to unsubscribe from this uh, subscription uh, I hope you like this video if you like just hit uh, like um, and also do share and subscribe thanks for watching thank you